Hey, welcome back everyone to Tick Town. And today I want to make a slime farm because I want to make sure that I always have mushrooms, at least mushrooms. So I'm going to have to find some pufflets somewhere. I know I got some around here somewhere. I'm going to have to, there we go, get some pufflets, some puffs or whatever they are, and bring them down here and get me some slime. Look at all this meat and stuff over here. Holy but Jesus we need to go get that and I think we will so let's go ahead and get over there and get that stuff right there we're just gonna send someone to start digging get over here and get this stuff and then we'll come over here and collect it and then I also give some uh give some polluted oxygen to these guys over here hopefully maybe we just go ahead and dig a little bit like that right there just for now we'll get them going on that so we found some pufflets. Now we need to build a cage for them. And I think I'm gonna be building my cage right over here. So I'm gonna start clearing this out, get me a cage going, and then we'll bring y'all back. So off to start planning. So another thing we want is morgues or morgues or morgues, whatever. But they give off polluted oxygen. So what we're gonna need is some outhouses. When we get some outhouses, we're going to let the dupes use them until they fill up. And then when they're full, they're going to start producing some orbs. And then we can put the orbs in our little area. All right, the space is cleared. Now, got something gassing off over here. We'll go ahead and sweep that up. Now we're going to try and make our little space in here. I don't think I'm going to make another private room yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, because that's a lot of work right here to do that. Oh, and behind each one of these, I've added, added some temp shift plates to help try and get some of that heat away from the machinery when he's working. It's working pretty good. Look at the liquid flow, still flowing. Still not got too hot in there. So yeah, it's still about 31, so temperature is great in there. I'm going to redo his eating area so that way he never has to leave his area and go anywhere but back to the puffs all right I feel I have a simple little setup for a pin the morbs are going to go underneath and I'm also going to put water on the floor and then sweep it up to get polluted oxygen and then up top we're going to just put a layer of liquid so that way ooh. I need some airflow tiles on the sides. But anyway, so that way it can uh the puffs can get polluted oxygen. So we're gonna work on this a little more and we'll come back with you. Alright, so while I was waiting for this area to be vacuumed out, I just set this critter drop off to be morbs. And there's a morb right there. How do I catch him? That's the question now. Petting morb is not recommended. Do I have a, a rancher? I do not have a rancher like you're my new rancher all right Abe go ranch get that guy Ooh, look at all that food coming in let's go ahead and set this up to high priority all right so while that was waiting for that to be vacuumed out I redid the mess hall I moved it over now it's in the chlorine moved the backup battery and the manual generator and stuff over so that's still an oxygen now the conveyor rail as it cooks, it's going to go over to this splitter first. Now, if this pressure plate needs food, then it's going to drop it on down. But if it doesn't, it's going to send it on its way over here. So now this guy never needs to leave the house at all. So we're going to lock down these two doors and he should never need to leave because he cooks food. He makes food each fried mushroom who, who is this in here hold on this is Joshua Joshua mess table assigned so yeah so each fried mushroom weighs one what is this one kilogram so I put it at five kilograms minimum so right now he's got I don't know 20,000 kilograms of food so that should last him a good while oh uh, did it let's try something else for this morb how are we gonna catch this morb that is the question Let's try a critter, critter trap. See if we can't get him uh, by that right there. Come on, Morb. 
Got them. There we go. Pick up the morb. Put them in here. Awesome. And of course, he went right there. So let's go ahead and set this on polluted water. Enable auto bottle. What's top priority now? Oh, that thing's still top priority. I want that morb back in there. Once I get him in there, though, we're going to have to keep him in there. All right, we the greenhouse. Oh, I did not want that. I wanted the critter station, the grooming station. That's what I wanted in here. All right, so let's go ahead and open this back up so the morb can get back through. All right, let's get this back to auto before he comes back in here. There we go. Now we should not be able to get back out. And now we need some polluted water. So what I'm going to do about the polluted water, let's get us a pumping station, pitcher pump right there let's see if we can't get us some water Ooh, a bowl go ahead and uh tackle him pitcher pump is empty yeah it doesn't have nothing going down all right plan b go ahead and mop this up and now we're going to bring some polluted water in here and bottle it and that is start us get us going because the morb is not putting off polluted oxygen i guess because there's nothing in here okay so we're going to get the morb started and i'll be back all right we got it started now let's try a critter lore. So we're gonna to try to get these puffs in there. Oh, what's this prince? Okay, puff and puff prince. And we still have no automation yet. I'm still adding water in here. And I needed my outhouses. I never did build them because like it was out the way. So let's try that again. There we go, some outhouses. How's Joshua doing? Joshua, your stress is zero, good. Morale's 30 of 17. Excellent. High morale. Well fed. Sleeping. And I believe we can put you back on a regular schedule, Joshua. Add new schedule. Schedule 6 is the cook. And we want Joshua right there. So there you go. He can have a regular sleep schedule now. So maybe that'll make him more productive because he's sleeping at night. Maybe it won't. All right, let's go back up here. Go ahead and dig this out. No bait selected. Um, what do they need? Capture method, Euro lures. Track shine bugs, attracts puffs. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and get us some puffs. Hmm. It's attracted them, but how do I capture them? That'd be the real question. Maybe I need to put it down in my cage? Huh. Critter can be used moving a lure. No clue what that means. But I'm going to figure it out. There, right, it looks like we are complete. I finally have a regular Puffet egg in here, and I got a prince up here. I wasn't able to lure them down, so I've just been waiting on eggs. What's that thing? No egg available. Okay, so this one's set up for continuous princes, and this one's set up for continuous regular Pufflets. Let's take a look at our automation. So this one, they can slow, throw slime into, and it dumps it down here. Now, they can't reach it in here because I got this door locked. So that means they're not going to try and take the slime and re-put it back and cycle over and over. Now when this pufflet puffs out some slime, it's going to drop it over here also. The morgue is putting out polluted oxygen. I've got some outhouses up here ready to produce, produce some more morgues. Got 12 bits, bits left. So the morgues will start producing oxygen as well. I've also got water bottled all up down here. And now let's go back to automation. I have not enabled it yet. But I ran the automation wire from this over here. Hold on. Oh, that ain't right. I messed that up. It's supposed to go to the top one. All right. Well, let me fix that and I'll be right back. There it is. All right. So now I've got to run to the right wire. I emptied out this auto loader. I cleared out all the slime out of here. And as we can see with the automation overlay, we got one thing calling for some slime. Now, once it calls for some slime, I don't have it set up yet. But it's going to come over this track, come over, and then come on in where the other one was coming in. So I want to go ahead and deconstruct. It's right there. Get in there, deconstruct that. There we go. So now I know I only got one way to come in. And then like before, it'll come in, it'll drop down if needed. If not, it'll continue to the next one, and so on and so on. And that, once I get some more pufflets in here, I'm going to expand this upwards and get more and more layers of pufflets with this and then we're going to separate them by airflow tiles so that way we can make sure we have enough slime to at least have mushrooms because we can always make polluted oxygen that's so simple so right now let's change this over to organic and then slime and let's watch it go for the first time 
Auto sweeper is sweeping it up. Do 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 do. And how many's calling? Just one. Let's make sure these doors are locked. Oh, that one's not locked. We're gonna lock it up. And it stopped. Make sure we have enough timer on this thing so that it keeps going. I tried to run it through the walls so it wouldn't put out any polluted oxygen into the vacuum that I have. And there we go. We're emptied out. And now we have enough slime. To keep this thing going. Oh, this guy's been crying. His stress level's been very, very high. Poor guy. I might have to redo his room eventually. But that is our slime producing area. That's what I wanted to get done today. And that's what's done. Oh, and then I think I showed y'all this. Yeah, I showed y'all this. Where the cook is trapped in his little room now. But Joshua stresses zero. I'm having trouble with him cooking though. He doesn't want to cook this stuff for some reason. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So, my name's Tick. It's been another episode of Oxygen Not Included with our puff farm. Oh, and look, he's ready to help us stay going. Now we're almost out of natural gas again, so we're about to have some power problems. But both of these uh, natural gas geysers just came back active. So next time, what I want to do is I want to create a duplicate battery farm. Oh, you heard me. All they're going to do is run on generators to charge up them batteries. We'll see if it can happen next time. Y'all take care.